would be the first one to say it. The build you're about to see, none of my attachments have changed from the last one. And truthfully, I just wanted to be toxic for a day and I wanted to run it. So that's why we're using it. Simple as that. If you guys are already familiar with these attachments, feel free to skip ahead to the gameplay. But for those of you that are unfamiliar, this thing's an absolute beast. It turns the Riveter into a pretty mid shotgun and makes it absolutely awesome. And truthfully, it's just the ammunition type. I'm not going to spoil anything but I'll get to that in just a second here. So for that first attachment, the 30 round mag, it's an automatic shotgun. Just makes sense. You want to maximize on that ammo capacity. When you're spraying down a lane, you're going to want those bullets. You can just mow down enemies. Now here's the attachment that makes all the difference. It's the 410 gauge ball. The 410 gauge ball is going to decrease your damage range along with give you fewer pellets, but at the same time, it increases your overall damage by quite a bit. Look at the statistics here. You have a crazy shotgun spread, meaning you can be very accurate. And also, it increases all of your damage by like 37%. That speaks volumes. I'm just saying, yeah, the damage range is that good, but it's pretty on par with the rest of the shotguns at 3.1 meters. So personally, I like to run this shotgun in tax stance, and that's why I'm going with the Bruin Bash and Angle Grip, because it's going to give you a 43% increase to that tactical stance. Obviously, it also helps your hip fire, but like I said, I use it in tactical stance, and that's the primary reason I chose this under barrel. For the muzzle, you're going to want the Bryson Choke to maximize on the tactical stance spread. You're also getting shotgun spread as a whole, but again, it's another tactical stance attachment. It makes it so it's extremely easy to be accurate with. And the last thing to cover here was the damage range because we lost some, we did need to increase it. And that's the SA Draven 20 long barrel to increase it by 35%. Without it, it is down to 2.3 meters, which I will admit quite bad, but the SA Draven puts it back on par with the rest of the shotguns in the game. So as I stated, if you guys were already familiar with this, you guys have probably already skipped, but if you guys do need to copy down the attachments, I highly recommend you pause right now to do so. You guys are gonna absolutely fry the small maps. So here's the rest of my loadout that you guys can copy down as well if you guys want to. I want you guys to make sure you hit the like button for me and the subscribe button. Hitting the like button is the most effective way to support the channel. It will push my video to new viewers that you guys think need to be seeing this video. So again, hitting the like button is the most effective and easiest way to support the channel. Let's jump into the gameplay. You guys get to see what my Toxic Riveter setup can do. And you guys can see it is no slouch. So I'm truthfully only using the Riveter because I kind of wanted to be toxic. I've been messing around and going for, you know, all of the mastery camos, you know, the, I don't even know what they're called at this point. Obsidian, one trick. I don't even know what the new one's called, but I'm just messing around with the some of the weapons. And I said, you know what? No point. I me just playing the game if I'm not going to start a recording. So that's the long story short. So we got the Riveter. I don't really care what happens. I just want to be toxic, have a little fun. Like I was saying. All right, hold on. We're one kill off of a VTOL here. So I want that. There's that. All right, we're already cruising. I'm just basically running around in small map mosh pit right now. And I'm just having a vibe, you know? Making the best of it. If I'm gonna be running shotguns, there's no reason for me to go onto like big maps and stuff and, you know, stress myself out. I'm just gonna have fun with it. They just spawn behind me, hold the phone. Yeah. Well, it happens. It happens. That guy's a zombie guy. Don't see much zombie, many zombie cameras in my game, to be honest with you. I basically just want a lot of kills. So that's what we're going to try for here. I'm going to just get extra aggressive. I don't care if I get a nuke. I don't care about anything, really. We're just having some fun. Long shot. Hmm. All right, I got to make sure to put down my trophy systems. Ouchie. What the hell was that? I think it was a C4. Trophy 
Oh, you're sweating, huh? Oh, you're sweating, huh? Come at me. Yeah, you're sweating, huh? Now the issue is I have no bullets. Oh, there we go. Just gonna sit here. And now I'm not gonna sit here because they just spawned on me, but hold on. That's a 20. I'm getting some here. Mm. Now that I'm kind of thinking about it, I kind of want that nuke. So I'm going to hit this, hit my VTOL, gain some map control. I think that puts me one kill away. I need one kill for an advanced UAV. Is there a gun over here? No, no gun. There's an advanced. Oh, I am in so much danger. What the? You died to a C4. Oh, that's tough. All right, back to the normal, uh, normally scheduled program here. That being just getting aggressive, because that's more fun. I mean, yeah. Yeah. This is more fun. All right, I got another veto for that. Uh, Another VTOL. Shit, I have another advanced. All right, hold the phone. I want to get, I want to get over there, but I need a nade for the push. There we go. Now we go. I'm gonna call in my advanced UAV now. Well, for someone that wasn't trying for it, I'll take it. Oh, that's, that's insane. That's insane. I can't believe it. Insane work out of you. That's a quad cluster mine. Oh my God. Baby Yaga, I tell you what, you're my arch nemesis, but it ain't working too much in your favor. You sir are a weirdo.
What? 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 How did you lag around me? What was that? This guy thinks he's safe and stuff. It's crazy. With his uh, rise shield, he thinks he's safe. Thinks he's really helping his team win the game. I'm still dying to a cluster mine. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Yeah, I can see. Sure. All right, a minute to win it. Get out of here. Hundred and thirty-eight. Potential for even more here, actually. And he sticks me with a thermite. This game is winding down. Trying to lock in 150 before this game ends. So we're getting there one kill at a time. Literally one kill at a time. Yeah, I'm not really getting anywhere at the moment. There's two. And there's 150. More or less done with the game here. would like to hit this veto one last time that should get us get us a few I'm thinking I'm going to call it there. That's 173 freaky kills. That's so much more than I originally thought I was getting. Holy! Even at the end there, I was picking the kills up like crazy. That's 185 with the Riveter. Man, I felt toxic. Goal achieved.